Hello, and welcome to TB's webcast, Make Up, a men consulting industry perspective. My name is Allison Crawford, marketing manager here at Technology Business Research, and I'll be your host for today's session. I'm thrilled that you are able to join us today for our discussion around the state of the management consulting industry. We are looking forward to an interactive discussion, but before I hand this over to Liz, I'd like to review a few housekeeping items to help you get the most out of today's session. First, we will be recording today's session and posting it to the TBR YouTube channel if you'd like to watch the presentation again or pass it along to your colleagues. Second, as I mentioned, this is an interactive session, so we encourage you to ask us any questions that arise during the webcast. I'm collecting your questions throughout the session and posting them to our analyst at the end of the presentation. Third, we will send out the slides to everyone registered for today's webcast within 24 hours of the conclusion of the presentation. Now, let me introduce Liz Leonard, CEO analyst in the professional services practice. Liz joined TBR to spearhead our research on the management and consulting industry. After years at firms like Kennedy Research and IDC, TBR had the extreme good fortune to add Liz to our team. Liz just finishing the research on our biannual management consulting benchmark, providing our detailed qualitative and quantitative metrics identifying leaders and laggards in the industry. Liz? Thank you, Allison. Good afternoon, and thank you to everyone on the line today for attending our webinar. You've an important presentation to the board of directors at your consulting firm that outlines where you want backing and support a new region. You propose expansion and requested additional headcount. Your will make all the difference and impact if you make partner this year. You will access to compelling market insight that will get board members to yes what of third-party research that's in alignment between your proposed capabilities and needs. How did that change the presentation you just made? That's what technology business research does. Today, we discuss a technology business research perspective on the dynamics shaping the management consulting industry and provide from our forthcoming management consulting benchmark. Within 16 years, our company has provided market research and consulting services to leading high-tech professional services vendors and management consulting firms. My name is Leonard, and I am a senior analyst with TBR. I've spent decades analyzing the management consulting marketplace, and to publish in December its first landscape and benchmark report that will have more than 90 data points for each firm to help you objectively compare consulting firms and get insight into firms' distinct strengths and areas of growth. With this presentation, you will have a better understanding of competitive approaches leading consulting firms are taking in 2011 and how organizations like yours have come to rely on TBR's benchmarking research to position for success. Three things we will focus on today are, first, how are evolving their portfolios to align offerings to key opportunities? How firms are managing resources to capitalize on demand, especially in high growth regions. Then how firms are augmenting and expanding capabilities through acquisitions and alliances to and provide comprehensive solutions for clients. Let's start. Enterprise organizations in 2011 face increasing amounts of pressure to grow and operate intelligently, with fewer resources, more stringent regulations, and pressure to reduce operating costs. According to our research, the leading management consulting firms are aligning their offerings to meet client needs capitalize on the opportunities that correspond to these high-priority business needs. Business issues of highest concern where firms are aligning their portfolios are highlighted here. Our indicates that consulting firms are expanding their offerings around analytics. 
analytics, particularly in the post-recession era, intelligent business led by information-driven business decisions. The growing use of analytics is tremendous. And due to the availability of new technologies and applications, client expectations are too. Client benefits from real-time reporting through to performance management, seeking to drive global growth and create competitive market gains. EBR research reveals that firms such as IBM, Accenture, KPMG, AT Kearney, and Deloitte have in the past year continued to invest in service capabilities around analytics. And Deloitte even built a physical location they term Hive, highly immersive visual environment where clients can sample and prototype analytic technologies and approaches to understand the outcomes in a short period of time. Management and compliance is also a high priority business issue for firm aligning on offerings. Again, with improved techniques and technologies supporting growth, help clients enhance their business the uncertainties. Across all industries, we see patterns where compliance sets market standards and the risks need to be managed appropriately. This is driving a shift in demand for governance, risk, and compliance consulting services. Across the pure play strategy, solutions-led big four and HR and specialty firms, risk and offerings that lend market intelligence, particularly addressing regional and industry level compliance, are on the rise. Especially clients require services that put the compliance standards on top of the business functions to integrate the risk and compliance efficiently. EBH also indicates a return to demand, transformation, and operational improvements. Firms are off of clients' ongoing demand for improved operational efficiency and cost reduction agendas from 2009 to drive the holistic transformation. New technologies such as cloud lead clients to a set their pull technology strategy and pursue technology transformations. And firms are aligning offerings to meet client needs in high growth regions, including Pacific, where there are opportunities to build anew with long term strategies in mind. These are key business issues that consultants are aligning their evolving portfolios to address in 2011. Now, let's consider how firms are responding to clients' specific industry needs. Benchmarking research, it's increasingly apparent that any specific expertise is in more demand today than ever, and firms are competing on industry acumen as a result. Among the mid of client-led changes to consulting firms' portfolios are services and consulting around technologies and automation for the financial service clients to leverage. As these clients compete for customers and increasingly need to cut costs through automated services, consulting firms are required to not only understand the technology platforms, but also specific and ever-changing regulations for the financial services industry. Across benchmark firms, revenues have increased in the past year for consulting aimed at financial services by an average of 12%, with some gaining revenues in this sector by more than 20%. recognizes that nearly all firms align some portion of their offerings to serve financial services sector clients, which drives competitive pressure for firms to demonstrate differentiated value. Global recovery trends contribute to the strong growth. For those firms like the big four audit firms or those like Bain that are closely tied to venture capital partners, Partners, there's much upside to be had. With the click in the M&A activity among banks and financial entities, firms have ample opportunity to capitalize on proven expertise within this industry. Our research also shows concerns in the energy and utility sector that are shaping consulting, consulting firms' vertically aligned offerings are operational improvements and global expansion. 
regions, demand is high for services that will improve efficient consumption through evaluating resource wastage and usage. Other key area of growth come from retail clients, essentially on supply chain optimization, while serving the needs of global players that are entering high growth regions, which is driving demand in 2011. Our proves that the demand for consulting and retail has soared in the past few quarters, and for helping clients look at markers and markets in Asia Pacific, where there's high growth potential as they expand from the constrictive market of U.S. and U.K. Retail-related consulting has driven up demand for strategy, technology, and operational consulting services. Further strategy and operational management offerings are also increasingly aligned to the needs of clients in the high-tech, communications, and media sector. With service types and new regions for service access create opportunities for consultancies to position clients for long-term and sustainable growth. Let's continue to demand deep industry expertise from their consulting firms if they're continuing to hire leaders from industry to help satisfy that need and com compete successfully to win bids. Oliver Wynn's brand recognition is a great example, as its whole reputation is largely built on this very premise. We research that the firm continues to hire experienced industry leaders, as it has in the first half of this year in both its energy and utilities practice and healthcare provider space, hired experts from industry with 25 plus years experience. Expert impacts the bottom line effectively is what clients want. And research continues to provide to prove that client portfolio changes are impacted by already business issues and vertical alignment of offerings. We see distinct portfolio alignment with technology capabilities. Several key emerging technologies underpin dramatic change for operations and require consulting on both strategy and operations in order to be implemented successfully. Key findings among areas of technology growth and investment point to analytics, business intelligence, and ability as areas where clients require alignment of their operations with business strategy. The terms that we included in our benchmark are among the best positioned to succeed with delivery of consulting in the technologies. And these firms include Accenture, IBM, Deloitte, and Gemini. Deliver business strategy for cloud and applied analytics. Full business intelligence and deriving effective operations that leverage mobility. How outliers that are increasingly attempting gain ground here include many of the strategy firms, such as McKinsey, Bain, AT Kearney, Zinco, and BCG. These firms have increased investment in technology assets and headcount are key finds increasingly partnering with technology firms to more technical capability to their offerings. The recent announcement about its cloud print consulting services helps clients become service providers or subscribers to cloud highlights the client centricity of firms' investments in this area. He believes that firms are going to continue to build out their capacity with emerging technologies that stand to improve business outcomes for both near term and the long term. We've considered how firms are aligning their offerings in areas of growing opportunity. Take a look at how the firms themselves are managing resources to meet growing levels of demand. Now, remember I posed the scenario to you in my introduction about seeking headcount growth in a fast emerging region? Well, this is an agenda in real life of on the agenda 
of every management consulting firm in 2011 is what approaches to resource management are the leading firms taking to capitalize on regional opportunities? Confirms rely on their people and their talent. Fruiting levels have been moderate this year as an average overall due to levels of attrition and slower demand levels in the established regions. However, the industry does continue to grow. The of Capgemini, who restructured and reduced headcount by more than 8% earlier this year, all of the firms that we've studied in our benchmark have added headcount. By an average, of 2 to 3 percent overall. Head growth leaders such as PwC have added approximately 11 percent in the past year just to its management consulting business. On resource management takes place in the fast-growing regions such as America and Asia-Pacific regions. Because involvement with clients that firms have directly, it causes consultancies to invest in establishing a local presence. Our research shows that most locations for our benchmark firms in the past two years across Asia Pacific, the Middle East, and Latin America number approximately 30 to 40 locations and include centers of excellence, delivery centers, and regional offices. In 2011, with considerably slow demand in the major markets, consultancies have turned high growth regions as the prime area of arena of competition, and not for clients, but for talent as well. Research, recruiting, retraining, redeploying, out from competitors' grasp, trying to match or exceed compensation to attract talent. Management consulting firms are using all of these tactics to retain talent to find the right resources in each region. In each market, it's with liberation due to a slower pace of demand and lagging workforce trends, it's different. In the high growth regions, levels of attrition are higher and firms are highly focused on securing the right types of talent. study shows that firms develop regionally specific strategies to capture consulting opportunities. In like where TBR estimates headcount growth across benchmark firms at 4% in the past year, several cross-country and cultural symmetries that allow firms to ease cross-train talent from the US and Europe to redeploy leaders on assignment who can develop business rapidly. Further, Latin America, TBR's research shows that fast-growing Brazil is where the solutions-led firms are making their moves. And the company is focused on capturing opportunities in supply chain management, financial management, and risk consulting in the region. And while firm this past year has been investing in organic growth in Brazil, TBR's at IBM is keeping its eyes open for potential acquisition targets give it both larger presence and local relationships. I did have Gemini recently acquired CPM Braxis to build out its technology consulting business. TBR this will enable expansion of both consulting and technology SI opportunities. Let's look at the Asia Pacific region. According to BR research, Head growth is around 5% in the past year. Makes the fastest growing region, which is not surprising to many for sure. Leaders indicate they are retraining and cross training to deploy some of their strongest executive talent region to build presence in Asia Pacific and expand relationships. While they are also heavily focused on recruitment of talent here to staff locations. The on attracting and retaining talent in this region is heating up. Of with the most to gain opportunistically and the most talent to make appropriately, 
are the pure strategy firms and big four players who need for highly competitive comp packages and other mobility options to ensure they can meet the needs for a specific clients with the best and brightest talent available. According to findings, the highest growth in the region for headcount is in China and India. And energy is the leading service line in terms of demand, followed by customer and marketing services, energy and finance, across all the sectors, public sector, financial services, high-tech communications and media, TBA leads both energy sector and manufacturing will begin to grow faster in the coming quarters as firms anticipate more demand in the near term. We see from headcount leaders, PwC and Accenture in the region, the pace of hiring has increased in the past year, a year and a half, really, to more revenue growth from this region. TBA updates further expansion and investment from consulting firms in this region in both near and long term. So next with our market overview with a look at our perspective on the role of alliances and acquisitions in driving growth for consulting firms in 2011. Meeting firm strategies around build, buy, or partner for growth, TBA research points to several key approaches firms taken this year. Tremendous convergence between technology and business management issues has brought about mutual opportunities for consulting firms and technology vendors, and drew both alliance, alliances and acquisitions. On the alliance partner front, our research shows that the list of tech partners that work with benchmark consulting firms is extensive, and some major hardware players like HP, Fujitsu, Dell, and other giants, Microsoft, SAP, and Oracle, as well as boutique technology companies that address areas such as analytics and risk. It's a great example that partners with Siemens to support its analytics. Further, alliances are formed to round out vertically aligned offerings. In the health space, for example, our research shows that strategy firms, including Booz & Co. and A.T. Kearney, have formed partnerships to address client needs. However, when it comes to acquisitions, Managed consulting firms have a few agendas. They are very protective of their core values, from their monetary methods, and C-suite client relationships, the Indian reliance and immersion that they involve with, with their clients, different sense for how to acquire and what they're acquiring for. Our research indicates when managing consulting firms do acquire, they seek to build regional presence and technology capability, at least in the past year, or specialization and expertise, such as healthcare, IE, and risk management. Are opportunistic and taking advantage of post-recession market conditions to increase market share and revenues. A few actions made by Deloitte, IBM, and ENY support the growth of their analytic capabilities. Again, a key portfolio addition for firms recently. However, the approach to acquisitions this year has been linked to the larger firm's extension of capabilities delivered in geographic presence in their ancillary business, so services beyond their consulting portfolios. For big firms, Firms, they're acquiring a business advisory expertise while IBM continues to expand its technology and managed services. And Aon Hewitt continues to grow its insurance business through acquisition. While these are direct acquisitions for management consulting expertise, PR recognizes that these acquisitions do expand presence brand, end-to-end -end capabilities that help feed the pipeline for cross-selling 
for management consulting business. PDA major acquisitions of Diamond and PRTM are worth mentioning because these are the most substantial direct consulting gains among our benchmark firms and both its headcount and revenue growth for this year. Participates for acquisition and M&A activity in the management consulting marketplace in quarters as markets open up and capital becomes more accessible. So we start an overview of how firms' portfolios are evolving to align to the client's top priority needs, and how firms are managing resources to stay nimble and capitalize on region-specific demand levels, with insights into drivers of alliance and acquisition activity in the industry in 2011. TV research shows that management consulting firms continually evolve and keep their offerings based on clients' top business priorities. The band are perpetually changing, and TB recognizes market leaders in management consulting are those that are anticipating these needs, investing to align their portfolios with clients' imperatives. This presentation highlights just a few of the many insights from TBR's forthcoming management consulting benchmark. Part of this presentation, we want to share with you of contents from a to be published in consulting benchmark. You can hear that the executive summary is 88 slides long, shot with comparative analysis. The six terms are listed here that we have profiles for. Those profiles is 19, actually 17 pages of content. And that content that drives consulting firm profiles is based off of the metrics that we've captured from our primary research per firm. Anyone interested in we get a slide deck presentation after after this? Um, Please us know we're happy to follow up with you on your own time. T Professional Services Practice publishes four benchmarks, which are up either quarterly or, as is the case with management and consulting, annually. They focus on professional services, healthcare, IT, and the public sector. Many client organizations, such as yours, have come to rely on the findings from benchmarks to set their key decision-making and strategic planning. For said, please feel free to contact either Allison Crawford, who's our host today and heads our marketing department, or James McElroy, both of whose contact information you'll find as part of this deck. Again, my name is Liz Leonard. I'm a senior analyst with technology business research, and this is our presentation. You have to available now to answer some questions. So let's get to this one. Great. Thanks, Liz. So we've had a couple questions come through. Uh, we'll still have time to take a few more if you have any last-minute questions you'd like to pose to Liz. Um, the first one that came through is, what service lines does TBR include in its definition of management consulting? That's a great question. I'm sure everyone on the line who follows management consulting knows that, that different, different research firms approach analysis and position um, of the management consulting industry slightly differently. So I do have information on this. I'm happy to follow up with uh, the, for the question here. But just to give you an outline of the service lines, we have um, coverage in the strategy, options management, organization and change, and technology consulting seg segments by service line. As part of our view into operations, we include data on AR consulting, risk and compliance consulting, um, 
fun accounting, customer marketing, customer marketing and game management. Those are the sub-segments of our operations management and consulting service line. So our, our taxonomy is available for anybody who's interested. So for question, uh, this is BR's first management consulting benchmark. How long has the company been following this market? Uh, good question. So we, the benchmark is new for the firm. However, we, um, as a firm, technology business research covers management consulting firms in our syndicated research. So those reports come out on a quarterly basis, and the firms that we currently cover in syndicate research include uh, Deloitte and Booz, BCG, Bain, and McKinsey. Uh, however, we also have extensive experience through custom consulting projects that we've done for clients, um, and I believe it's been at least seven, seven or eight years where we've been very active in management consulting. Looks like we have a couple people who are trying to ask questions and just having a little technical difficulty with the. Um, okay. So hold I? on one second. Okay. Uh, there's questions on the one that you're having technical. Difficulties. You want to ask through the chat function? You can ask all the hosts or just, um, all the panelists. Radio song. All right. All right. <laughs> Do we have anything? Uh, okay, hold on. Can you give estimates for headcount growth around GRC, especially for Accenture and Deloitte? change by geography? The question, and probably one I could answer more directly offline um, with the data, but yes, we do have at the firm level um, the growth for C um, as a standalone. Um, if, if you want to follow up with, with Allison or James Colroy, Directly, be happy to get back to you. Um, we do have information. Uh, Zainab, I will arrange a follow up for you, so I'll get back to you shortly for that. <laughs> uh, are there any other questions from anyone on the line right now? They'll be getting the slides. Okay, so I will be following up with everyone who attended this, the presentation today uh, with slides. If there's anyone who would like to have a further conversation with Liz one-on-one, -on -one. you can also arrange that. Please reach out to either Liz or myself to arrange those conversations. Thank everyone for your time today. We look forward to working with you further and continuing to deliver information on the uh, state of the management consulting industry. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.